Okay, so to solve this one, we've got x is equal to 6 on pi times cos of a half pi t plus 3 pi. So we know that the amplitude is equal to this number out the front, 6 on pi. The omega is equal to a half pi. So to get the total mechanical energy, the total mechanical energy, called energy is equal to a half Ka squared. So we've got the amplitude squared already. We're going to have to work out what K is. We've got omega and we know that omega squared is equal to K on M. So this tells us that K is equal to omega squared M. So K is equal to a half pi squared times M and we were told that M was 2. So this is equal to pi squared on 2. And so the energy is equal to a half pi squared on 2 times a squared, which is 6 squared on pi squared. So these pi's cancel each other out, and we end up with 36 on 4, and so that is equal to 9 joules. And then the question said, how could we account for friction? Well, friction acts as a small retarding force, so we'd end up with the amplitude over time being decreased, and so we'd end up with oscillations like this, where they get smaller and smaller in amplitude as the time goes on.